Well, it seems Sony PlayStation has a massive flaw to the system that Sony has now turned around and removed it off the packaging. Well, does this fall in the realm of false advertising? And that is what a lot of people are saying. Before we get fully into the video, do yourself a favor, subscribe to the channel so we can cover more things like this. PS5 removes claimed feature that fans deemed false advertising. Sony is ending its claims about the PS5 and 8K. So you can see on the picture right below me, right about there, right about there, you can see where it says 8K on the box. Well, apparently this is no longer a feature for the PlayStation 5. Now 8K, when it comes down to graphics cards, monitors, TVs, it's not an easy thing to get in your resolution for your TV. First off, you've got to have a TV that supports this, right? Then you have the PlayStation with the chipset that is, uh, it's not really the best thing out there. You're paying $500 for a Sony PlayStation. And then if you look at like a 3090 or a 49 graphics card by NVIDIA, you pay about a thousand dollars. And those cards do have the claim to the fame of 8K resolution. However, you sacrifice a lot of the performance. Sony has chosen to remove the proposed feature from the box of the PlayStation 5 that may have claimed was never accurate to begin with. Back in 2020, when the PlayStation 5 first arrived, it noticeably contained a 8K emblem on the front of the box, which suggests the console was capable of 8K visuals. Since that time, the 8K logo has largely continued to appear on all versions of the PlayStation 5 that have now been sold. Now, though, it that has finally changed as Sony has instead scrubbed its appearance from the PS5 packaging for one reason or another. Spotted originally on Reddit, it was pointed out that the appearance of the 8K on the PS5 boxes have vanished. This move is one that Sony only seems to have made recent recently and it did so without explaining a reason behind the move generally speaking though putting 8k on a ps5 packaging in the first place was always quite of a bit of a stretch as video and gaming tech has never hasn't really reached that point or is it feasible and if you look at how much a sony bararia 8k tv is it's about ten thousand dollars for that price it should just come with the PlayStation 5, should it not? This is Canadian prices, of course, because I am up here in Canada. Um, these 8K resolutions, you've got a refresh rate of 120 hertz. You kind of need that because it's doubling up the 4K to get there. And honestly, these TVs, you now get to a point where the TV looks so realistic that it... In, for me, when I watch things like The Matrix in super high definition, it makes the show look so fake. You can't tell it's, it, 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 you, it looks like a set that they're walking around on and you can really tell that. That's the problem I have with these TVs and why I don't think going that way. Um, the monitor I actually have is a 4K monitor, but I don't use it so much in the 4K aspect it doesn't have the high refresh rate for what you need for these types of things to actually run good games on it. Most games I end up running would be at 1080, just the normal basic high definition when it does come to a video game. So checking out the Reddit post, Sony removed the claims of the PS5 being able to do 8K from their packaging. Rob Lobster one posting this to gaming news. So you can see here's the box and you can see the updated box is missing the 8K logo. What does this really mean? How does this legally affect people? And can someone form a class action lawsuit over this? They're preparing, uh, preparing the live for the PS5 Pro, which is a very high possibility. They 
then downgrade what's going on with PlayStation 5 and say, listen, it was never there. The new PlayStation Pro will do these graphics with this all-inclusive crazy-ass video card that we're going to put in there and we're only going to charge you $600 for it. No, that's not the way things are working right now on the market. Like, if you want 8K, you're paying through the ass. If you want 4K, generally you are paying a lot of money to get this high definition that you generally don't need right now. And in some cases, you still need to turn around and you need to upgrade all your equipment, not just the PlayStation, not just the TV, but any cables you're putting in there need to be like the highest quality possible to actually get the full benefit of going to these routes. It's kind of really crazy how pixelated things will get, but it's that many more pixels that they're adding to it. Um, what are the comments saying in here? This post is so dumb. First off, this happened nine months ago when the new Slim came out. Secondly, the PS5 is capable of outputting in 8K because it has HDMI 2.1. Mm, no, HDMI doesn't... Uh, it, it, it helps the signal, but it's not the end-all be-all. It's what you put into the chipset to do that. Um, that's uh, the box ever saying Sony never claimed games would be played in 8K. Xbox boxes also say 8K on them. Uh, this is what their FAQ regarding it into it. Uh, PlayStation 5 is compatible with 8K displays at launch and after future system updates will be able to output resolutions to 8K when content is available with supported software. It is a very, this, this is one side of everything. If you thought the PlayStation out of the box is going to give you 8K resolution to your TV, generally that's not gonna happen. You, you need all the equipment to be compatible with 8K. But this now also brings down to the level of if PlayStation is claiming this can go 8K and yet they haven't made a video game really to produce 8k resolution then what are they doing even having it on the box in the first place and is that a level of false advertising well if nothing can support it or nothing is running at 8k then how in the world can you even claim it now when it comes to 8k you're not really going to be able to see it very easily right now like i said you have to have everything to get your ducks in a row for 8K to even work. There's a complicated setup and everything else to go with it. So NVIDIA even has a guide up here about the 3090, um, how you can turn around and game at 8K. And just taking a basic look at it is why game at 8K? Well, you get a million pixels pretty much on it. Uh, displays run at 7,680 by 4320. Generally, you're going to see this on bigger screens. You're not going to get this on not easily on a 20 inch or 27 inch screen. You need a big screen to be able to spit that on there as well. Yes, it's the amount of pixels that you get compacted. So it's that 8K resolution. Demanding pixel counts. 8K requires a GPU to draw four times as many pixels as 4K and 16 times more than 1080 full HD. It also demands a significant amount of memory VRAM to load assets. So these are some of the challenges of it. And in a complex setup, using previous gen HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPoint 1.4a standards, 8K HDR Gaming requires multiple cables and display outputs due to higher display bandwidth requirements. Remember when I talked about HDMI 2.1? Well, you're going into a display port and you're going in almost the next one. Display port is a different style of connector than HDMI. It looks like HDMI, but it has only one corner cut off and then it's straight on the other one. It's a, it's much different than HDMI. Um, it, it transmits different frequency and different amount of data than an HDMI does. Difficulty in capturing and watching video at 8K. Recording 8K D HDR is challenging due to the sheer number of pixels and typically requires a dedicated professional capture card such as D DeckLink 8K Pro and watching 8K content using today's H.264 
dot uh, dot two six five and vp9 codexes in bandwidth intensive results in increasing buffering and loading times pretty much if if as a streamer if you want to upload an 8k there's not not much you can do about it right now but you would have to have a dedicated computer to capture that in 8k on top of being able to run it in 8k these things are not easy to do at all. So the idea that PlayStation 5 sits there and says that they even have 8K in the first place, it means it can pretty much be compatible with the TV that can run at 8K, but are you gonna see it at 8K? I'm not entirely sure, but it really does lead a lot of questions at this point. Was the PlayStation 5 ever really capable of this? That my friends, is where I'm going to leave you today. Anyway, I'm your product of Phoenix in the Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.